Welcome to another exciting tutorial from PowerPoint University. In this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how to create this multi-purpose slide in PowerPoint which you can use in your day-to-day -day presentations. If you can see, there are four options there which is I have used as a business starter points and with some different colors, I have added some animations to it with a spiral binding effect. And when I click, it will go to the next page something like this in details you can type your plans they find investors then marketing research and the last one is set business goals so let's see how to create this slide in PowerPoint add a new slide go to insert shapes and select rounded corner rectangle draw the rectangle Make the height as 6.5 and width as 10 inches and just make it a little curve. Center align and align middle. Make it no outline and give some dark color. I've used this color and then I can just press Ctrl D to make it duplicate right mouse click go to format shape and you can increase the transparency level this is I'm doing for giving a shadow effect and then send this to back and adjust it uh, just slightly which is uh, something like this just make it somewhat visible from the right bottom the background which is the dark uh, gray color make it no outline and you can give some shadow effect for this select this option and you can increase the distance look like something a uh, kind of a a silver so both ends I'm just going to make a dark gray color and then I'm going to add one more which I'm going to add a white color to it and one more stop make it one more white and you can add one more and make it somewhat dark color 
so that it should uh, give a feeling it's is bending at the other ends at the both the ends select this add one more press control d and just align it properly options uh, objects and group it and then you can reduce the slide size and then press ctrl d and add eight or nine So I'm just going to create a four uh, dividers. The should the size should be 1.5 inches. So 1.5 into four it will be six. So you'll get the perfect alignment then. this you can give some different color and the last one it no outline and go to rotate flip vertical and then flip horizontal bring to the end of the page and give some gradient fill so it will give you kind of a, a page My design is almost ready now so i have to add some icons and the text here i have added some icons which i have downloaded from the nonproject.com so i'm just going to add the icons here you can go to www.thenounproject.com to download the fonts for free sorry the icons for free Go to insert and you can just type the headings.
go to the transitions and I'm going to select a transition effect called page curl so this is how it will look like so I have used the same animation for the rest of my pages so when I click it will show you this one that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university see you soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye